is up ladies and gentlemen welcome to Johnny plays welcome back to the channel if you guys are new here uh, go ahead and subscribe if you're new to the series go ahead and uh, watch it I'm pretty sure I either have a playlist or I will make one so there will be a, a real source of the playlist and also if you guys are interested in a new series I'm thinking of making go ahead and wait on watch the whole video and I'll talk about it at the end boys hopefully you guys watch this video hopefully this video is not too long uh, this is what the table is looking like so far, guys. Uh, last episode, we were struggling with a couple of games. We played our first Europa League game, though. We did win that. We did use a formation of 4 one 2 one 2 So I'm going to try that formation against our first opponent of this episode. And that is no other than Real Madrid. My actual... Um, the actual team I support myself, but you know here there is no bias. We have to support Real Sociedad no matter what. So let's get right into this game, boys. I'm going to change the formation, move some players around, and I'll show you guys what the final team is looking like to go into the Real Madrid game. Alright boys, so this is what the final team is looking like. The defense is looking exactly the same. We're still going to be playing a 4 in the back, but we have a midfielder, a midfield of 4, a 4-1-2-1-2 four, one, two, one, two, narrow like we did play against the Europa League game. That, that formation really brought me a lot of success in that game, so we're going to try that one out against Real Madrid. Kind of risky, but you know what? The other formations haven't really been working for us. Uh, Pardo y Aramendi at the and Bernard at the midfield. Uh, at the midfield position, Oyarzabal at that center attacking mid. I know he's a winger, uh, but I really don't have any other midfielders that are fit enough to play this game. Vela and William Jose will be starting up top, up, up top as always, boys. So let's get right into this game. Hopefully we win this one. Hopefully we don't choke this. Uh, I think this might, if we do win this game, it will be our second win in La Liga. So let's try to get that uh, second win in the books, boys. So this is the team Real Madrid have set up to play against Real Sociedad. Ronaldo, Borja Mayoral, and Gareth Bale up top. Modric, Tony Cruz, Casemiro as the midfield. Marcelo, Ramos, Manolas, the man from Roma, I believe, uh, at center back. Uh, da Dani Carvajal at right back, and Keylor Navas as the goalkeeper. So same kind of uh, same kind of team they use in real life, but the only actual difference is, is uh, Manolas and also Borja Mayoral. Johnny going to hit that to Carlos Villa. Back to Johnny. He has a little bit of space there. This might be the first goal for us. Oh, oh my God. Are you kidding me? Oyarzabal absolutely messes up the header, boys. That could have been a first 1-0 lead against Real Madrid. That would have been so helpful for this game, boys. There we go. Waiting for Carlos Villa to make that run. He has. I'm going to shoot that one. Oh, we hit the crossbar. Oyarzabal. William Jose. Shoot it. Penalty, boys. We've gotten a penalty. <laughs> Let's go, boys. We got very, very lucky that play. Carlos Vela should have scored there. Hits the crossbar. Oyarzabal fails to get the header there. And then William Jose comes up. Tries to take a shot, but is fouled by Kaizy Mato. Very, very lucky stuff there. Oh, fouled by Danny Carvajal. Excuse me. Hopefully, William Jose can finish this for us and give us that 1-0 lead that we do deserve so far. We've been dominating this game, boys. Let's see. I'm going to go left. Yes! Let's go, boys! That is a 1 0 lead for Real Sociedad against Real Madrid, the Giants of La Liga. Top two clubs in La Liga were actually have the lead against us. This formation feels so amazing. I'm so glad I changed to this formation. Uh, hopefully, later on in the series, I do acquire some more players that actually fit this formation. So, if you guys know any actual center midfielders that I could purchase for this formation, go ahead and comment that below. If you guys want me to purchase any certain players, in the January transfer window, go ahead and comment that down below as well. Zidane is looking very upset there, but I am very happy about this 1-0 lead. Hopefully we don't choke this one. I always say that, and somehow I always choke it. So hopefully this is a different situation. Carlos Villa making a little bit of a run there. Going to shoot that immediately, Carlos Navas. With this save, Carlos Villa has been having multiple opportunities this game, but he's just been getting really unlucky with that one. Here we go, great passing from the team. Carlos Villa with another chance. Oh my freaking god. That one, that one he should have finished, honestly, boys. He did not finish that one. Kicks it right to Keylor Navas. A couple minutes right after his last chance. Gonna cut in the middle here. There we go. Carlos Villa. Is he gonna finish this one? 
Are you freaking kidding me? So that is the end of the first half, guys. As you see, we've had multiple opportunities to really increase our lead against Real Madrid. So far, we've had one, uh, a one-nil lead, and as you see, we have five shots on target, while Madrid have a zero. Uh, possession 50-50, so I really feel like this uh, formation is really helping me out, especially with the passing on it. It's absolutely amazing. Passing accuracy at 85, shot accuracy at 62%. Uh, and as you can see, Real Madrid have three yellow cards, so we're going to try to take advantage of that. Not going to make any substitutes yet, just going to go straight into the second half, boys. Back to Luka Modric, to Cristiano Ronaldo, let's press that, let's press that. Oh, watch Marcelo, watch Marcelo. Modric over the ball here, boys, this might be a dangerous play for us. Oh, he's done me, he's done me, he's done me. Tony Cruz finishes that off, and that is a 1-1 one, one game so far. So see that versus Real Madrid, Tony Cruz finishes that off with his left foot, and my... My midfield is like nowhere to be found. Luka Modric had way too much time on that one, boys, and I pay for it. God, that sucks. Oh, shoot. Marcelo's done me. Oh, my God. That, that could have been bad. That could have been terribly bad. So, let's see if we can counter off of that play. Here we go. Carlos Villa with some space. Oh, and he also does have the pace, boys. All right. Let's see what we can make out of this play. I see Yaramendi. Why did he stop his run? He's still going to shoot it. Bam! Still scores. Yaramendi scores against his old club. And it feels so good to be in the lead against Real Madrid, boys. He's going to celebrate. He doesn't care about not celebrating. Oh, that's so awesome. We've, we've, we've taken the lead back for us, boys. A 2-1 lead there. Great ball to Carlos Villa. Carlos Villa has that pace to lay it off to Yaramendi. Get him in a great position to finish that one off. Blasts it right past Keylor Navas. Beautiful, beautiful goal. And that does give us the lead, boys. So hopefully we actually don't choke this one. Alright guys, so we're actually going to be making some changes just to secure this win and maybe give us one more goal. So we'll be taking out, um, who did we have in camp? Oyar Zabal and Bernard for Zubeldia to add some fresh feet. He's not the freshest, but still compared to the whole rest of the team, he is pretty fresh. fresh. And we'll also be adding a double. He can play that center attacking mid position. And I do want to get at least a two goal cushion. So hopefully these players that I will bring, be bringing on do accomplish that for us boys. All right, Madrid about to play it short, I think. Okay, there we are. Cross it in. Where's Ruli? Yes, great step. It double here. The man who we just substituted. How? I didn't even press anything. You guys didn't see that? I absolutely didn't even press anything. I just put Carlos Villa there, and somehow it is a foul, boys. When Tony Cruz ran right into me I did absolutely nothing in that play somehow it's a foul hopefully really can't save this one boys I'm gonna go left I'm gonna go left Ronaldo usually goes left so that's where I'm gonna go oh my freaking god how am I supposed to save that how am I supposed to save that whatever not even mad here we go I see the run down the wing oh, I'm gonna cross it in boys are you freaking kidding me bruh that's freaking game! I freaking hate this game so much! Oh my god, that's so freaking annoying, boys. We we tied Real Madrid. Uh, honestly, I should be happy at this result, but lately we've been having not the best uh, streak of games, so a tie really isn't going to help us uh, qualify for the Champions League, which is what the board wants. So, uh, frustrating stuff, boys. Uh, I feel like we should have won that game just defensively. I I was flawed a couple of moments, but let's get right into the next game, boys. Hopefully, we can get a better result uh, than just a draw. All right, boys. So uh, we did tie that uh, Real Madrid game, and right after we actually have Levante, and then to finish off this episode, we will be facing Valencia. In episode five, we will be finishing the month off uh, with Altach as our first game. But right now, let's concentrate on these two games. Uh, Levante will be a tough game just because we are away and we won't have our strongest team because of fitness reasons So I'm gonna rotate the team around and then I'll let you guys know what our starting lineup will be So this is what our starting lineup against Levante is looking like Juan Nimina up top, Jan Zayan at 10 roll, Zuratusa Zubelia as center midfielders, Walter as that CDM Rodriguez, Llorente, Navas, sorry about that, Ordizola uh, as our Defense and really and goal as always we have a table as well on a, a full fitness So we will probably bring him on if we need a goal. This is the team uh, Levante are rocking a lot of midfielders kind of more of a defensive formation Even though the wingers are uh, set a little bit higher uh, Hopefully we do win this game and hopefully we do pick up the three points like I've said uh, oops, 
let's get right into it, boys. Magic Beanie hasn't been causing us the best luck, but hopefully this game it will do its effects. Here's Janazai on the ball. Gonna lay it off there. Oh, great run. Great run. Oh, Suratusa, the man who we actually tried to sell from the squad. I think he. this is the second goal in two games he scored. He might have to play with the first team, boys, because he does put in great performances. He does give us lead in the sixth, uh, sixth minute of the game, boys. So, hopefully things don't happen like Madrid where they do come back and tie it up. I'm going to try to get that two-goal cushion and then become a... Uh, more defensively sound. So let's just try to keep possession here. We do have that 1-0 lead. Oh wait, can we pull that off? Genesai with the- Oh, Genesai's actually scored that, boys. I honestly shot that, hoping we got some luck, and we actually do. There's that 2-0 cushion we wanted in the 28th minute, boy. Genesai with a great finish there. Pretty, pretty lucky. Hard angle the way he shot it. He wasn't even facing the goal at all. But he still manages to put that one in, boys. 2-0. Let's go, Real Sociedad. Great step, Genesai. Oh, great move. Oh, can he finish this? Janusai is putting in the performance of his life, ladies and gentlemen. He's really putting in an impact. We might have to start him in the first team. I don't know. In that center attack and mid-roll, he feels very, very nice there, boys. Has picked up two goals and also an assist. So he's really doing he's really doing big things for the team right now. So I'm really impressed with him, boys. Great finish there as well. Here's Samuel on the ball. Great step by Kevin. Let's see if we can counter off of that play. Got a couple bodies up top. Oh, great pass there. Great timing there. Santimina fin... Oh, he really missed that. Juan me finishes it, though. 4-0. Santimina really finished... Really missed that one. That's actually surprising. Juan me does finish it off. I think he actually kills this game. 4-0, boys. That is an awesome. Honestly, my second team has been, been, been playing way better than my first team, so... I don't know what's going on there. Might have to move around some players, give some more players some chances. That's really what I'm noticing from this from this game because so far our second team is undefeated. So great job, great game so far. Gonna keep on uh, trying to keep this clean sheet though. That is the end of the game, boys. That's how we're gonna finish the second game of this episode off. Uh, we actually pick up a win in La Liga. That is so awesome. We actually dominated. Uh, this this Levante team. I don't know if it's my second team that just feels better playing with or if it's the fact that we are playing not the best competition compared to my first team. Obviously, my second team, we played uh, some small, some team I didn't even know of in the Europa League. Actually, no, it was a Bromby. We played Bromby in the Europa League and now we play Levante. Not the strongest teams. Uh, unlike with my uh, with my first team where we've actually gone up against actual opponents that are better than us. So, I don't know. I'm going to try to give the boys on the second team uh, a little bit more opportunity with the first team because I just feel like they've been doing putting in so much good performances uh, that it's only fair to do so but let's get right into our third game and final game boys if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe as well go ahead and like and comment it really helps out your boy and it really motivates me to be pushing out these episodes for you guys after five games in La Liga this is what the league table is looking like we're obviously in seventh place uh, about Three points away from that Champions League spot, but obviously over time we will grow and we will actually find out how to properly use this team. So I'm very confident that we will actually get a Champions League spot, uh, especially after that Real Madrid game, seeing how we did and we were able to tie that game. Uh, against a great opponent like Real Madrid. Obviously, they're not even having the best season, so I don't know if I should really even been, be saying that. Uh, so far, they have five points in La Liga, and our next opponent, Valencia, have six points. So, I don't know. But yeah, like I've said, our next opponent is Valencia, boys. This is what the squad is looking like for this Valencia game. Uh, same squad as we did play in our first episode. The only difference being in Thibault will be replacing Oyar Zabal in that camera. I just want the guy to get some more of a game, uh, game time. Now, uh, if you guys know any actual center backs you guys want me to purchase, go ahead and comment it down below. Because so far we only have three center backs. And it's really been a struggle uh, trying to play these games because Llorente, uh, his stamina keeps on or his fitness keeps on going down. So I'm going to have to find a replacement, uh, or not a replacement, some... Someone, a center back to add depth to that position so Llorente isn't having to play every other game or every game, excuse me. 
Uh, that is what the team is looking like, though, boys. I'm very confident going in this game. So far, we have not lost a game in this episode, and that's that's something very new for us in this series. So let's get right into it. Let's win this game, and let's pick up a good result as well. Great pass from I don't know who, but I really need to defend this one. Oh, no, no, no. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Great step, Bado. Great step. Oh, God. They're having a great passing uh, passing game right now, boys. Absolutely just touching the ball around past our defense. And Julian Brandt with a shot. But really does save that very well. Temple making a great run. But I'm going to play it off to Elostundo. I feel like he has a better opportunity to pull something off. Elostundo with the shot. And Neto gets his knee to that one and saves it. Here's Valencia again with their amazing passing. Rodrigo with the pace. Woo, I thought that one was going in. I'm pretty sure Ruli would have not been able to save that one. Rodrigo has a great opportunity there. Very, very close to the goal. But we get very lucky as well. Here's a devil on the ball. Carlo William Jose has some space. Excuse me. Carlos Villa has some more space over there. Carlos Villa with the shot. And on his weaker foot, Carlos Vela misses that in the 37th minute, boys. William will say great pass there. Vela is on his right foot, so I'm not going to blame him. He was still pretty close. That could have been the 1-0 lead, boys. The half ends. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. We got this. We got Julian Brandt is just... He thinks he's Ronaldo or something. Oh, here's a great opportunity for us, boys. Carlos Vela with the ball here. Burba spin. Roulette. Finish that with the right foot. But Neto with a great save there. That that finesse shot was going pretty slow, but I had to hope that it went in because those type of shots do go in in this FIFA, but Neto gets a hand to it. Uh, that would have been a great way to finish off this half. Let's see if we can get something out of this corner as well. Oh, no. Here's Bernard. I'm just going to blast it. Oh, no, no, no. Nothing, nothing, nothing. False alarm. False alarm. These are what the halftime stats are looking like, boys. Uh, Valencia do have more possession than me, but we do have more shots, and more shots aren't targeted as well. Their pass accuracy has been very, very good, way better than me. Uh, it says they only have six, well, that they have zero tackles, but I feel like defensively they've been so strong compared to us, where Drew has been absolutely ripping our defense. Excuse me, guys. I'm actually going to make a substitution here, boys, because Ethebo really is not doing any work for me there, so I'm going to bring on Santi Mina. I'm, uh, I don't know. I'm going to bring on Oyar Zabal. He does have some fresh legs, and I'll bring on Santi Mina later on against his old club if we do need some fresh legs up top. But so far, I feel like William Jose and Carlos Villa are doing a very good job for us. Here we go. Here we go. Oyar Zabal. What are you doing, bro? Great step from Bardo here. This might be our first goal, boys. Oyarzabal, the substitute. Cut in the middle with his right foot. William Jose. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Oyarzabal, his shot is not the strongest. Neto gets a hand to it, but there's William Jose in the perfect position at the perfect time to finish that one off. Boy, that is a 1-0 lead against Valencia. They've been playing amazing football, but our attacking has been kind of more effective. They're more possession-based, but we're just more direct. So that is why we do have the lead so far. Hopefully, that amazing passing that they've had so far does not kill us. So let's get right into this. Uh, let's just let's just play. Let's just play. Yada with the fake shot and the turn with the shot. Montoya does get in the way of that one, boys, and that is a corner, though. Here's Valencia on the ball. Last nine, I mean, last seven minutes of the game here. Julian Brandt on the left wing now, crossing it into Murillo. I thought that one went in, boys. That was really scary stuff there. Valencia starting to press a little bit high, so we need to counter off of that Valencia. Here's Carlos Villa with the pace. Great turn there. Great turn there. Oh, great Ronaldo chop. Can he finish off the play? Can he fit? No, he can't. He can't. He, he can't. He's always on his right foot. William Jose here. He's won a penalty, boys. William Jose. I did a little step over. I didn't even think that the ref was going to call that one. But I guess somehow, Gabriel Palista, the substitute, does give away a penalty there. I did a step over just to see if I could get anything out of that. And we do actually get a penalty, boys. So here is William Jose. Might get his second goal. I always go left with him. Going to keep it happening. Let's see if we can get a second goal. 
Let's go, boys, and that is the end of the game, boys. 87th minute, two goal cushion. This game is over with. Woo! Are you freaking kidding me? Now, now I'm gonna concede because of all that stuff I said. Yep. All right, we conceded, but it doesn't freaking matter because we still won. Two one. I don't even care about the replay. Come on, let's just get this game over with. That is the end of the game, boy. We on we on we honestly conceded in the last minute. I'm kind of butthurt about that, but I don't care because we still won this game, and that is the last game of this episode, boys. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much uh, for the support. Please like. Please go ahead and comment. It really helps your boy out. Uh, I do. I am thinking of making this new series, and this is kind of where I am going to explain that. So basically, it'll be a series where I'm more uh, concentrated on simply winning games. And when I say that, uh, I want to do a thing where I go to one team in each of the top five leagues in Europe. So, uh, England, Spain, um, Germany, France, and what's the other one? Italy. Go to each team in the same career mode. Each, we go to one team and we try to win a treble with each team in each of the five leagues of career mode. Now, if you guys are interested in that series, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. If you guys are interested in some sort of series like that, I feel like it's more of a fun series, more of a crazy series where transfers don't matter. You just want to buy the good players and you you guys get to see great players in the teams. Uh, uh, it doesn't really have to be all really realist realistically based like this career mode kind of is, boys. But I'm going to stop rambling on. Thank you for the support, boys. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video isn't too long. Uh, I'm trying to cut the videos down under 20 minutes. Thank you so much, boys. Like I've said, something repetitive at this point. Please go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you all. Be safe. Have a good day. God bless you. Peace out.